The Alfred has one of the busiest emergency departments in the Southern Hemisphere, treating more than 8,000 patients with major trauma each year. But nurses say those patients aren't getting the care they should because the hospital is deliberately bypassing its nurse to patient ratios for its resuscitation beds, which are reserved for the sickest people. Staffing one to one is critical to patient outcomes. It's surprising to me that they're not staffing at one to one. New laws were introduced in 2019 requiring staffing of one nurse per resuscitation bed. But the ABC has seen rosters from the Alfred showing that isn't happening. The union's now conducting an audit of Alfred nursing staff. They were funded for additional resuscitation nurses in 2019 and the staff report that they haven't seen those additional resuscitation nurses. So that understandably is causing uh, distress. I'll be making some inquiries of my own, but uh, for the time being, this is an operational decision that's been made by Alfred Health. The Alfred has nine beds in its critical care area, but only six nurses rostered on in that zone that take patients. In comparison, Victoria's other major trauma hospital, the Royal Melbourne, has eight beds and eight nurses rostered on each shift. It is Victorians' lives that are put at risk here. The most critically ill patients who are turning up to emergency departments that can't be seen and managed and cared for. Alfred Health says it has more nurses rostered across the entire department than the laws require and they can be deployed to the areas that have the sickest people when needed. But nurses say those patients are in the resuscitation beds and need to be cared for by the appropriately trained staff. Bridget Rollison, ABC News, Melbourne.